Very good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, I would like to uh, show my great appreciation for the invitation from Alibaba Cloud Summit. So I'm Chen Yan from Nanyang Technological Un University. So uh, since 2018, we have collaborated with Alibaba uh, for various of the research, especially on the green cloud, uh, green e-commerce, and uh, uh, many uh, green healthcare, so many uh, other research topics. Yeah. Okay, um, according to the uh, World Economic Forum study, so in fact, AI um, in fact has played a great uh, potential role for impact every import, important sectors in our life, uh, such as uh, education, healthcare, agriculture, transport, and many other sectors. So it is estimated uh, AI could add over five trillion uh, to the global economy. So that's a huge uh, impact. Uh, and um, the AI impl implementation also bring uh, like new jobs, many, many types of the new jobs. Uh, uh, not just like replace some of the existing jobs. Uh, and AI, in fact, could uh, generate over 3 million uh, new type of the jobs uh, by 2030. Yeah. So AI has shown great potential okay, to reduce the greenhouse gas uh, emissions. Okay. Uh, so um, so uh, many countries, including leading industry, uh, have been uh, looking into the green um, AI solutions. Okay. Uh, using Singapore as an example, so we have um, uh, the government's green plan 2030. Yeah. So we are not now not just like um, uh, working on the um, smart city and the smart uh, living. Uh, we also want to strive to have a sustainable green smart city and a green uh, living style. Uh, as a leading uh, IT industry, uh, which have the, uh, one of the largest e-commerce platform with 1.3 billion consumers, so Alibaba also published their uh, ESG standard okay, with seven pedals. Uh, I have listened to uh, Mr. Chris, <laughs> his uh, talk on all the ESG start, uh, standards uh, as one of the uh, academic partners working on the Singapore's um, AI standard, AI ethics standards. Uh, so the ESG, uh, in fact, is important to every one of us, no matter which sector we are in. So we have collaborated on various of the green intelligence inno innovation. So just now, CTO of uh, Alibaba Cloud, uh, Mr. Zhou Jingren, has given uh, the, the talk on uh, model as a service. Yeah. And um, in academic, yeah, we have host many uh, strong uh, scientists and the professors working on various aspects of the green AI, yeah, including large language models, as well as their applications in aging health uh, and many areas towards a sustainable future. Yeah. So uh, from green cloud to green uh, living, green society, uh, uh, one of the enabling technology is green AI. Yeah. So what is the uh, red AI and the green AI? Uh, as you can see, uh, we all know to train a large foundation model, a lot of energy are consumed. So as you can see, um, the, the green AI and the red AI are differentiated from, man, uh, from many layers, from the data layer to the model layer to the computation and the ecosystem layer. Yeah. So with green AI, 
we can we can use small data to fine tune uh, the foundation model. Okay, and uh, we can also have a uh, green data center, uh, which can support a lot of open source AIs. So all these efforts, okay, are the green AI uh, efforts towards a green society. Yeah. For example, okay, I know uh, ChatGPT has become part of our life, right? I have a friend who is the CEO. He said, with the ChatGPT, he can reduce his personal assistant from six to two. I don't know <laughs> how many of you are CEOs here. Uh, so as shown in this uh, figure, as you can see, in fact, um, to answer a simple question, uh, a chat GPT spent over 100 k uh, thousand times more than our human brain. So our human brain, in fact, consume very little knowledge, okay, while the AI consume uh, the huge uh, energy consumptions. So that's why um, uh, the whole uh, uh, world, including government, academia, industry, have to uh, uh, have to work towards the solutions of the green AI. Uh, here I show an example of a professor uh, from NTU Computer Science and Engineering. So Professor Lin Weishi is working on uh, how to compress a big foundation model into a smaller one to consume less energy. Yeah. Then we also have teams working on small data uh, for the new generation of the green foundation uh, AI models. And it's definitely model as a service towards a green uh, open AI ecosystem is everyone's target. Yeah. Yeah. This is an uh, interesting uh, research. We are collaborating with Alibaba on the green recommendation. So as I mentioned, uh, Alibaba's e-commerce and other e-service platform uh, reached 1.3 billion consumers. So how to uh, use AI uh, for the green recommendation to, uh, to use AI persuasion uh, for persuade the users uh, to make a uh, green lifestyle decision makings. Yeah. So you may want to spend uh, a bit more uh, dollars right, to buy a, a green product, yeah. uh, no matter cloud clothes or other uh, like uh, lifestyle products. So that will uh, impact 1.3 billion people on the like, e-commerce service chain and other uh, global service chain. So the green recommendation uh, uh, mechanisms, algorithms are important for all the e-service providers, no matter on which cloud. You may use Ali Cloud, you may use other cloud services. Yeah. So green AI for healthcare. So collaborating with Tan Tock Singh Hospital National Healthcare Group, we are also uh, using green AI for sustainable healthcare. In fact, uh, for the first time in the human uh, history, right, we will have more elderly than young people. So no matter whether AI is your choice, right, we do not have enough young people to help our senior citizens. So how to um, plan for the uh, health service, which like uh, um, uh, uh, elderly, uh, no need to um, call a taxi for such a long time to travel uh, to the hospital for various of the service. So the efficient use of the telemedicine and the planning for the community health care uh, in Singapore, uh, Ministry of Health has, um, has enabled the health service is beyond hospital uh, to the community and beyond community uh, to the home. So how to do the mass screening for the early uh, detection and the prediction for the chronic diseases such as dementia. Uh, every three seconds, 
someone in the world become dementia, right? So how to uh, uh, do the early dementia uh, like um, risk analysis and the detections using AI algorithm will definitely reduce the uh, economic uh, load for the, the Ministry of Health for the, for the, for the country. So as you can see, um, uh, the carbon uh, footprint uh, together with the behavior trajectory of the health service are collected for the smart planning and, uh, uh, and the service providing. Yeah. So green AI for the healthcare uh, is uh, potentially to be the next wave. Yeah. Um, here shows the, um, uh, the incoming community hospital uh, is the Wulan Health Campus. This, this will be the first um, AI-inspired health campus, which like uh, a, a, a senior citizen does not feel uh, they are living in a residence uh, with all kind of the health service provided. Yeah. Okay, so um, in summary, uh, the green AI means uh, two important aspects. First, how to make AI greener. Yeah. Second, how to use AI to help all the green applications such as transport, agriculture, uh, and many, many important sectors. Thank you very much.